Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here and welcome back to Train Simulator and also welcome back to Chloe. <laughs> so, last time I played this particular scenario on Train Simulator, I got, I believe I got right to the last 10 seconds of this challenge and I pressed the wrong button and it booted me off and said I'd failed and I got a score of zero. So, how many times have you played Train Simulator before? Zero. Also zero. We've got a bit of a theme. And you are going to play this route with an expert's advice, which if you've seen any of my train simulator videos before, you will know what an absolute joke that is. So, do you know anything about steam locomotives? No. <laughs> well, today is the day to learn. So, first thing you do is you click that start button down there in the bottom corner. And we'll be away. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> I see. <laughs> There's no words to describe. Oh, you're going to have some words later. So, it's quite straightforward. There you go. You're in charge of a train of empty iron ore hoppers from Stanton Ironworks to Colic Yard. You're currently held at a signal check at Baseford North. When the signal clears, that's a signal just in front of us. Drop continue. Off your train. Yes, oh. that's basically right. So, First of all, yeah, you can click off that. First of all, you've got camera views on these numbers, right? Yeah, it looks like the inside of the train we saw last weekend. It is very similar, yes. So press some of these buttons, press your numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and you'll get a sense of um, what okay, you can do. Pov. Yeah, and if you press two, and you can drag around with the mouse, middle mouse button. Right, so without wanting to worry you, we haven't got long to get this train going, okay. so. You can use the mouse on, if you look around the cab, you can use the mouse on the controls. Have a look around, hold your right mouse button. There you go. So you can actually click and drag these controls, but to date we're going to use these. So, your first control, that's called the regulator, don't do anything on that yet. That's a little bit like your accelerator in a car. Okay. It isn't, but it, it kind of lets steam into the cylinders to make the For thing go. Level. You've also got this one in the middle, which is, your reverser and that's a little bit like the gears in a car again it's not gears but it works a little bit like in the same way so you've got a relationship between torque and speed with that and that's your brake <laughs> so what we're going to do don't release the brakes yet we're going to wind the reverser to full forwards that is like putting us into forward gear you're going to give us no don't <laughs> look you need to listen if going. this is going to work but that, that will work so you're going to release the brake until the gauge goes right down there. I'm moving. But when your brake is released like this, you are wasting pressure. So you have to, nope, nope. Okay, now gently raise it up until that says running. There you go. Now you won't be wasting steam. So this is your speed limit, 50, and you're doing 10. If you go above the speed limit, you will... Um, <laughs> I didn't even look at the signal. I don't know whether we were clear to go. I think we would have been. So, now that we're going, you can start winding this slightly back. No, because that's too much. You need to just wind it a little bit back and we will speed up. You've gone too far, really. So, you need to put it back to where it was and just pull it back a little bit. So, there you go. Yeah, that'll probably be okay. Now, the speed limit's going down to 25 in a second. So, you've got to slow yourself. You don't want to go... Yeah, so you don't want to go too quick. Just bear in mind that now the speed limit is 25. There you go. I didn't realise this was so complex. I thought I'd just go and stop. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a learning curve, but you'll be okay. There's also, you've got to keep an eye on your coal. You've got 36% coal and what's that? 86% water. I'm really confused. I'm really, <laughs> yeah. really confused. You need to look at this. Look, it's, when it's released, when your brake is released, release it all the way, the pressure will be just over 20. So if it's anything below 20, you're going to be applying the brakes, which you don't want to do. So now you can rise your brake back up. Now if it goes to apply, it's going to apply the brake again. But yeah, you're okay, probably okay with that. As you speed up, you're supposed to wind your reverser back a little bit, as I understand it. So that's okay. Yeah, this is what I do. I spend all of these videos looking at the scenery. How cool is that? Yeah. So we're heading towards Baseford, apparently. You know what, folks? When we come to stop the train, that's when we're going to be in trouble. I've got a timeliness penalty. That means you are on time, yes. 
But it's a penalty. Yeah, I, I, that confused me, but I think if it's a penalty, you'll get a negative number. You've got a positive number, so yeah. you're okay. Very, you can't do anything on this it's game. A, train simulator is a tight ship, I can, I can tell you that. Right, so without wanting to worry you, I can see in the future we've got a 25 mile per hour speed limit coming up. So you're definitely going to want to ease off. Now, but be careful, mm. release it again, because you're going to grind to a halt. Release it. I want to do it. Do it. I'm taking over this ship. Well, I'm rebelling. It's you've, you've got the brakes full on emergency stop now. God. Which is too much. It's exactly what I wanted to do. But now you're releasing them fully again. So it's, <laughs> and you've now used about half the time that you had to get down to 25. So you're going to be speeding. You need to apply the brake, but don't do it too much. All right, that's fine. So it took me. Again, <laughs> when you start applying the brake, <laughs> the brake will slowly go from completely released to fully applied. So like, if you don't set have I it. Stopped? No, you, you are slowing down. You need to set your regulator to zero, otherwise you're going to waste steam. I thought that was my accelerator. It, it, it's called a regulator, but it, it's you can think of it as an accelerator to simplify things. Right, you can release your brake now because you're slowing down. Go down to release. There you go. Because you're now at about 20. Yeah, now you can... Where's my speed? It's This is the limit here. There's, There's your speed. speed. Oh, okay, I'm going to... As you leave this tunnel the limit will go down to 25. So as long as you're below 25 miles per hour, when you come out of this tunnel, you'll be okay. So you, you, your boiler pressure is a little bit low now. So you're gonna want to try and conserve it. So while ever this, while ever that is in green, the, col the pressure is increasing. While ever it's red, the pressure will be decreasing. If the pressure goes down too low, you will lose power and you won't be able to move the train anymore. And then you'll have to stop and let the pressure build back up again. It's a train station. Yes. Which mm -hmm. we are not stopping at. Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, London Road High. Yeah, we're going for London Road, which is actually really cool. Now, we're getting a little bit low on coal and water. So now that we're not accelerating, really, you could click on these. to That, will, that opens the injectors to put some water into the boiler. That goes down to zero. We blow up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see that unfortunately, no. but you do blow up. Oh, we need to shut that quickly. There you go. Sorry. Why? If you go into a tunnel, um, that one you can leave. If you go into a tunnel while the firebox is open, <laughs> that happens. You'll fail. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. <laughs> it's not exciting, so now we have to start again. <laughs> well done. I just wanted to see what would happen. It's not exciting. I could have told you what would happen. <laughs> so this is good. Chloe also scored zero. So you have to find out now whether you can do it next time and beat me. If you get a score of one, you have beaten me. What happened to you last time? I uncoupled the wrong wagon at the end of the scenario and it booted me off. It, well, it wasn't fair. I mean, I did lots of things wrong that it didn't boot me off for, but that was too much apparently. Right, let's get going again. So... I'm going to ask you what certain parts of a steam train are, Fabulous. and you can answer and let me know what you think. So, first thing... Well, this thing, will be interesting because I've only really seen the models, and I'm yeah. not allowed to touch the models. <laughs> You've touched a few models, they just broke when you did, so... <laughs> there was one accident with Oliver. Yeah, never going to let that die. And, All I, right. and I, I might I point out, I was not holding Oliver at the time. No, no, you weren't. No. He decided to throw himself off the loft. Exactly. All right, so let's do one that you've encountered. What is a regulator? Is that the accelerator? Yeah, we'll okay. accept that. The regulator... Oh, as I'm, I'm, I'm not... Here. Is that me? Uh, no, you're okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, the regulator, as I understand it, and I'm not an expert, but that allows steam to pass into the cylinders. Yeah, we've never known that. Yeah. Ever. So it's a little bit like the accelerator. All right, so what is a cylinder? The chimney. <laughs> Not quite. If you drag us around the side of the loco, these are the cylinders right there. If you put your oh, mouse on. I know that because on the Helgen review you did, it was covered in glue. Yes, the cylinder was all melted on the 1361. I know. That's my only experience with a cylinder. But that is stuck in my mind. <laughs> 
So the cylinder contains a piston and the steam is used to push that piston forwards and backwards which translates into the rotational movement of the wheels. What's a piston? So the piston is pushed and pulled by the steam okay. and that is where the power of the locomotive comes from basically. Yeah, you're doing very well. Now a problem we've got now is that you are very low on pressure. You're at 143 PSI which means that you have Oh, signals. Oops. <laughs> That's your fault. You were distracting me about yeah, the pressure. Yeah, sorry. Right. Hazard awareness. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> we will get through this. So I will be I will be looking out for your signals for you. Rat hole. Rat Told hole. Told you Baseford sounded dodgy. <laughs> it's a Baseford's a rat hole. Oh, God. Man, I hope no one from Baseford's watching. We'll get three comments from people who, who are from there now. We apologise if you live in Baseford. Very sorry. Right, put your regulator down. Off. Because it's 25 now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What? No, you're slowing down. It's okay. You will point one mark. No, you don't want to accelerate. Yeah. Because the, the limit's 25 and you're at 24. <laughs> you, were, you went to, I think, if you're half a mile per hour over the speed limit, you will get a speeding penalty. And you were at 25.4. <laughs> so literally, speed. if it had ticked 1.1 1 .1 mile per hour over, you would have got some speeding fines. But you didn't. So you're looking good now. You're not wasting steam this time because you your boiler pressure is increasing. Um, if you wanted, you could now wind your reverser back to, I would say, about 60-odd. Because this ATF loco could go pretty quick. I, I would say you could easily get 50 or 60 out of it. And I guess. That's just a guess. Right, so th this on the map shows us where signals are. So there's one coming up. And as you can see, currently, I would say that's on... We're yellow. Yellow. Which means this next signal is probably on danger. So... I would keep it slow. I'm only going 17. Yeah, I would keep it that way. And if it's on red when we see it in the distance, we'll have to stop. How cool must it have been to like, live in these areas back then to see these steam trains just go by? Yeah, it would have been smelly, dirty, mm. and noisy at They're night. Cool though. Yeah, and, and if, you're, if you like them, pretty cool. So I would click on this button here, which gives us a view looking out the window. I've got a pressure problem here. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I would just shut off your regulator completely at the moment because we might have to stop. But at the moment, we can still carry on with caution. And I'm on like 10 miles an hour, so I might want to yeah. take a yeah. stop. And release your brakes, yeah. And then set them to running once, the, once they have fully gone. Not yet. When it stopped moving, yeah, now you can do it. That's good, that's good. So basically, when I played this scenario last time, I thought that I had to stop at the Basefoot Up platform, and I did. And I think that gave me a little bit extra time to get whatever locos ahead of us out the way. Right, so we're still on sort of warning. Danger is red, I believe. So I think yellow is warning or something. Oh, I thought like I'd know you have to stop there. Yeah, that is danger. That means yeah. if you pass a danger signal, you've uh, you've done a naughty. Well, it's basically like traffic lights. Yes. Stop. Yeah. Be aware yeah. and go. Exactly. Yeah, you can pass a yellow light, can't you? It's okay to use pressure. You can use pressure. You're at 220, which is really high. Um, so if you're going up an incline, you can use pressure. But then when you stop, you're going to want to build it back up again. Um, uh, you're at one in one thirty, which is not very steep. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you're accelerating. Should I open this for the fun of it? No, definitely not. Although we have only got thirty-two percent coal, so when we're out, when we're clear of all these stupid tunnels, oh, we're going to want to open it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. What do I do? Uh, this comes down. Apply the brakes fully. No, it's gone green now. <laughs> How does it go from red to green? But well spotted, I, I would not have seen that. On exiting the next tunnel, our speed limit is going to go down to 25 again. So just be aware that we are going to have to slow down pretty soon. I'm not slowing down at all, though. 
you will do soon. I would say now you can set it back down to running. Self lapped is fine, yeah, that's fine. What does self lapse mean? Um, I'm not sure. I always yeah, just use not. them interchangeably. Um, all right, so you can give it a little bit more. All right, there you go. <laughs> now they're fully applied. That's fine, because I'll slow down quickly. Just, just remember, as soon as you hit 25, set them back down to released again, otherwise you will grind to a halt. Yeah, that's fine. That looks good. Very good. She's actually better than I am at this. <laughs> Within about half an hour's practice. So we're going to Nottingham Victoria next, which is pretty much here. So this is Nottingham Victoria. Right, we've got a signal coming up. Let's just have a look and see what it says. Oh, oh. oh shoot. Oh, oh no, oh no. Reverse. I don't know, oh no. No, <laughs> no! Oh. How, how were we supposed to have known that? Because everything was on green. Oh. Damn. What we need to do is what oh. I did last time. Sorry. <laughs> and even though we weren't supposed to stop, the fact that I did stop gave us a lot of time. So we could do it again. We can practice stopping with you, show you how to bring the loco to a stop. That should give us some time for the signals to change for us. And then hopefully we won't get booted off again. Yeah? Oh, okay. Let's try it one more time. This is it now. <laughs> You've had your practices. This is the final oh, showdown. Damn. Click that replay button. Oh no, you've got fully applied, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just bear, if you, if you look like you're gonna grind to a halt too soon, release it. There you go. So now I would release your brakes because you really are slowing down. This is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Just leave them released because obviously you've got to, you want your engine at the other end of the station platform. Right, I would say you can stop now, yeah. So you've slammed your brakes on. That I have. There you go. So we can take stock and we can reflect on this station. Look at him standing in the rain like a twit. It's like you. Well, I wouldn't be doing that. I'd have a coat or an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, just standing I there. Admire a lot of wagons and i'll tell you what it takes a stony and heartless and feelingless mm. person to stand at a platform like that and not even turn your head slightly when a beautiful steam loco <laughs> drives in he's doing it on purpose maybe he has beef with the train <laughs> oh wait no he might be important oh i think that's who he's meeting Mark. there's yeah. something going on here it's going to be a meeting he's walked straight through a lamppost to him probably oh he didn't oh, walk straight through him no. i'm surprised by that Oh, he's yeah. gone to join him. All right. Right, well, there we go then. Let's release my brake and we'll slowly move off here. Yeah. Oh, there, yeah, that's enough on that. Cool. And what are you going to do before we enter that tunnel? I'm going to close my coal, which I did forget about, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. She's going to close her coal, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the coal is transported into the loco firebox through the firebox door. I've heard of a firebox door. Mm. No, because, you're thinking of a smoke box door. Oh, uh, yes, because I was just <laughs> about to say, some models have the DCC fitters behind the smoke box door. Yeah. And that's how I remember it. Which manufacturer does that? Now you're asking questions. <laughs> Is it Backman? No. Um, no, I don't think Backman's ever done that. Okay, let me think. It's not going to be Hornby. Think innovative manufacturers. <laughs> Look at that, even a complete novice knows that. Yeah, I'd like to think of myself as a tiny bit more than a novice. Yeah, that... I do run the um, Sam's Trains Instagram account, thank you. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was a little harsh. So was it this, I think it was this next signal that got us, was it? Or maybe I don't know, potentially... I'm only 20 miles an hour. Yeah, it was this next one. So we need to look and see what it's doing. Pull I don't know camera. why we're trying pull, to look under the, the bridge. Down. <laughs> yeah, it's green, it's green. Oh, thank goodness. Again, I don't think we could have stopped in that time. Oh, is that ours? No, that's theirs. No, that's, the yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. It's the fact that we were trying to look under the bridge. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what a pair of numpties. Right. Choo-choo. This, this is now the furthest we have gotten. <laughs> when we come out the other side of this tunnel, for a time, the limit is going to be 10 miles per hour. Yes, I'm just not going to accelerate. I probably all. wouldn't bother. Now, that's red. It, it is red. 
Okay, right, now what do we need to do? Um, slow us down. Yeah, apply the brakes. I can't tell if it is red now. No, I can't either, but I'm going to slow us to a stop if that's what it takes. Yeah. Green, like, that's normally green from what I've yeah, seen. Yeah, I think so. I think all the way across like that. I mean, I've stopped us completely. Yeah, so, so crawl, just there. crawl us along a little bit. Assuming that's our signal, though. And we're not just stopping. <laughs> because I think out. I think we might we're be okay because we're I'm going left. Way. Just proceed with caution. I think I think we'll probably be okay here. Yeah, go for it. I would go for it. The speed limit's only ten, so take it easy. And the, I remember the view out of this tunnel was awesome as well. When cold water goes into the boiler, it cools things down, and that can cause you to lose pressure. Right, okay. So generally when you stop at a station or when you're going down an incline or when you're not accelerating that's a good time to pull some water in. Right so you're wasting a lot of steam now and you're not really accelerating so why do you think that is? Because I'm listening to you. Yeah but also because you, you had full regulator and your reverser is all the way forwards which no, it doesn't need though. to be. No there you go. No, it's not. <laughs> we should go on Google Maps and just see what this area looks like now. I'm not, because that's a horribly dull idea, but no, right no, now... No, no, I'm shaking my head. I think that's really cool. Oh, we'll okay. do that after we finish this video. That's what we're going to do, everybody. Okay. If you're wondering what's going on after this video ends... Yeah, yeah. We're just searching old Nottingham pictures. Even, how do we even find this, though? These train lines probably don't even exist anymore. Well, we just type in Neverfield and Colwick platform. Too. Yeah, but like I say, it might not be there anymore. Hopefully, we're going straight on here, because well, that's I'm a red signal. I'm scared. No, I, I think we're fine. I don't trust it, Sam. No, the points. No, the points set. Don't stop. Are you <laughs> Don't sure? stop yet. The points set for straight ahead. Yeah, look at oh, you no. accelerating now. We have got a yellow signal. Yeah, that's a good spot. So we need to go inside the cab and zoom in and see what that next signal, point three miles away, is doing. It is red. Red. Damn. Would you? I am not Damn it. Speeding up. Brakes on. Yeah. Down. How annoying. This, none of this happened when I did this scenario last time. I stopped, I wasted time, Where's I was probably... Yeah, thank you, sorry. Yeah, carry on. I yeah, I, I was faffing around, release it a bit, because we need to get towards that signal. <laughs> I'm scared, okay. <laughs> Someone called Douglas once told me <laughs> that yeah. it's possible to drive a train with the regulator set pretty much constant. All you do is twiddle the reverse. So I've never um, been able to do that. But. Speaking of driving a train, didn't yeah. you once drive a 9 f Well, it's funny you should mention that because not many people know this. But yeah, I did That's actually. <laughs> That's why I'm such an expert on all this. Yeah, I, no, I did. I just had this like vague memory of you telling me that you drove a 9 f Yeah, I, I may have mentioned it to you. It's certainly not something I've put out there onto YouTube. Well, this could be the first time you do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There you go. Now you know. Um, what's the signal saying? Still red. It depends on which way we're going. Is that? I'm going to have a practice stop anyway. All right. Because it's better to be safe than sorry that I, we can figure out what we're doing. I just suspect that that signal release your brakes a little bit. I, oh. I suspect that that no, signal. No yeah, look, look at that. There's, now, I now they're released. When they're at 21, then it's released. If it's anything less than 21, your brakes are applied. I just think. That there is. What I think. Yeah, I, I think we're okay. On the side of caution. Yeah, I'm I, stop I think. Us. I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't stop us because well, we'll get. I'm the driver. <laughs> I think stopped. that red signal is for this way on the left. I don't think we're going that way. The concentration. Sorry, I'm not Although, saying anything at all. I'm just fully concentrated on this signal. And apparently Do you know what's here, also making me laugh? What? That we think by going like this. Well, you, better. <laughs> you might it's, see it's it not going to make a difference at all. We've both got bad eyesight, being a little closer well, to the screen. Well, that's why I'm sat like this the entire time. <laughs> so, oh, annoyingly, the speed limit is going to change to 30 in about half a mile. So don't break your neck to speed us up. What I would do is open up your injectors and um, maybe get some coal in as well. Right, we're all good. We're cruising now. Yeah, we are. Let's take a minute to enjoy the scenery. Yeah. The gorgeous, foggy, rainy, cold, miserable the Nottingham Netherfield. scenery. <laughs> Neverfield. Neverfield sounds nice though. Yeah. Neverfield. Sounds nice. On th going on this alone doesn't look nice. Well, no, but nothing's going to look nice back then, is it? <laughs> I don't know. I presume think something's going right. right, the limit is now 30. 
and we're at 28, which is not bad. Oh, God. I've got, I've got control. You have. You have, actually. You've genuinely got control, which is very impressive. You can buy me a train conductor hat for my birthday. Would you wear it? I would when we play this. <laughs> All right, Sheldon. Meg, everybody, tell him in the comments to buy me a train conductor hat. Well, because if I do it, you got to stick by that. I will. You got to. Are we going to be playing this again then? Do you like it? It's all right. She lied. Not too bad. No, it's not. No. <laughs> now I'm now I'm on the open road, the open yeah, track. Yeah, exactly. The open it's track. It's not too bad. Close these off. Signals yeah, are green. Oh, good. thank goodness. I've already, I've already clocked them. I swear I saw red and I was like, oh. <laughs> but no, green, green it is. No good, we're approaching a bit slower than we need to, so it's all right. Now, this confused me last time. When we stop, we are not stopping at a station platform. We are literally stopping in the middle of nowhere so that we can reverse the train towards some sidings. Then, yeah. there's a buffer stop behind the train and we have to stop before hitting it. I hit the buffer stop, and if I'd have been, I think, two or three miles per hour faster, I would have derailed the train. So I, I would proceed very much with caution. Well, that's crazy, because that's probably quite accurate to real life. Yeah, if you crash a train, it will derail, no. that's true. Ha ha ha. I mean, like, you have to be very precise. Yeah. Which is like... That's true. A real cool skill, really, when you think about yeah, it. Yeah, it is. This is how far we have until we're stopping. As you can see, 0.69 miles. <laughs> nice. It's free to a good home if anyone wants them. I ain't no puppy dog. Let's look at this. This is where shunting happens, Chloe. You always ask me about shunting. I, yeah, it's the one thing I've just never got to grips with understanding. Well, we're going to do a little shunting in a second, I think. I also want to find out if there's a way we can save this game. Yeah. Because, in fact, press escape. Let's no, see no, if we no, can. No, 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 no. Yeah, you can. You can save. Okay, hit save. Right, Just hit it. save. Yes. So we didn't have to redo it like six times. Yeah, technically we didn't have to do it six times. Oh dear me. I think this orange section here on the display here, I think that's probably roughly where we need to stop the train. I would say anywhere here is probably good. Mm -hmm. And we have indeed stopped. <gasps> Well, luckily we saved. I guess what happened is we stopped and this brake van hadn't cleared the points properly. So then if we reverse, we can't. And yeah. why we couldn't, again, why that is a game over situation, I don't know. I'm scared of doing it too soon. Yeah, don't stop until this literally says zero, zero, zero. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Full, give us full. No, no, that's fine, stop. Apply, apply, apply. <laughs> apply them, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. We're still moving. <sighs> that was scary, man. This means that we've stopped correctly. <laughs> okay, now what? Now we wait. You can now set this reverser to minus 75. So, we've got a very short way to go before we stop. Okay. So, turn the camera around so, so that we're reverses. looking. Yeah, but don't do anything yet. Turn the camera around. Oh, right there. Yeah. It's on red. Yeah, but I don't think we're going that way. So, give us about 30 on there and release the brakes so i'm thinking these signals are for these yeah. lines on the inside so we should be okay but they're all on red um, too everything is on red again i think they are for another direction so there's our buffer stop we have to stop before then so i would so start i, down, I would get us right down to about eight miles an hour but also don't stop too soon because we know what it does okay set it to running again right because we're not you gotta, you gotta take care of things. Oh no, oh no, oh no, we're gonna crash. Oh no, we're gonna crash. Oh. Did I do it? I think I did it. Well done. Did I do it? Yeah, 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 I it's did good. It. A parcel came at the wrong moment. Now, we're waiting here because when that's all done, we have to uncouple the train, <laughs> right? <laughs> So, first thing we're going to do is save the game. <laughs> right, this makes me nervous because this went wrong last time. So, this is your coupling menu. So, if you push this. Again, which is the loco, which is the brake? I think this is the loco. So, push that one. Oh, 
this one. Press that button, yeah. Good job. You can now have a short break before your next job. Is that it? I think that's it. Exit that. Oh my gosh, we did it. I mean, you did it. <laughs> you did it. Now, no, it was a team effort. You, that's you it. scored zero. Oh. <laughs> here's, here's a list of what happened, so scroll through it. So <laughs> lost a lot of points. There was wheel slipping. Oh. So I basically, think, it was just timeliness, I really. Yeah, it was because we you, were too slow. Can I just say, I don't care. Because I did it. And you know what? It's better to be a little bit slow than to run over a red signal and do something dangerous. Blow up the train with a smoke box in a tunnel. Exactly. And we would never have been that cautious if all of that issuing with the red signalling hadn't happened. So I, I don't take full responsibility, really, for this timeliness problem. I think we were really good. I did it. Yeah. I mean, we finished it. That's the main thing. That just shows how, like... Unfortunate, your uncoupling disaster before was. You exactly. Just literally press one it literally button. completely messed me up. <laughs> so, what do you think of Train Simulator? I actually enjoyed it. I think to start with, when we kept having to start again and again, I was getting a bit yeah. fed up. Yeah. But I don't think that was the game. I think that was just like when you've done something multiple times, you have to keep going through it to get to the point you want yeah. it to be. That was. I th I up. think it was this scenario as well because. I have played other scenarios where I've been far less responsible and not been booted off it like that. I think it was a little harsh. But, um, no, yeah. I think it was cool. Would you do it again? Yeah. I think the more I've got used to it now... Cool. Well then. I think it's pretty cool. Tomorrow morning, I'll come pick Sorry, you up. I'm busy. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully you weren't screaming into your monitors too much. And uh, we will hopefully see you again soon for another episode of Train Simulator. Cheers, everybody. Bye. Bye.